Like. <laughs> Until what? Let me. Hello, hello everyone. We're back. Uh, the game had a cutscene <laughs> as soon as I turned it on. Hopefully, this time the cutscene isn't important to the game in any way. Uh, and it was just like a pre roll enter a thing. You know how games do an attract feature sort of thing or something like that. No options at the main menu. That doesn't bode well. What extra features do we have? Oh, so that we can just rewatch the introduction. Random facts. The choice between leaving a witness or a corpse is no choice at all. Sam Fisher, third echelon operative. Exfiltrate. To get an agent or other individual out of a country or area by clandestine means. Attaining 100 victories and 100 battles is not the pinnacle of excellence. Subjugating the enemy's army without fighting is the true pinnacle of excellence. Sun Tzu, the arts of war. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's what that is. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and watch the intro 13 why does that sound familiar was that a uh like a late ps2 or early ps2 i mean um first person shooter or something third person shooter i feel like i seen something about this game at some point i like the art style for it assuming this is the art style the actual game used Yeah, so that's just that's just some sort of like teaser trailer or something like that. Chances are we'll be playing the game at some point, so we're not gonna we're not gonna waste too much time on that. I guess we will go ahead and play the introduction though. I'm just hoping this isn't one of those games where the introduction plays before the game and then as soon as you start a save as well. Shit. <laughs> I'm stupid. Back, extra features, intro. There we go. Maybe. Once it loads. Okay. We got a sniper in a snow field or snow covered forest thing. It's a chicken, a dude. Going down a large shaft. And hope those little uh, spikes there don't come dislodged and that fan starts running again. Do you imagine like the chains, or not the chains, the, the rope thing that they're using to fucking rappel down there just gets wound up in and they just get pulled back up into the fan or something? Start spinning around in circles. So this is this is was what USSR. So they have like a, a giant underground army thing here. My god, is this quiet. Ah, oh, shit. They've been spotted. <laughs> that looks like a fun slide, dude. I wouldn't mind going down that. I could do without the being shot at, though. Wait, did they get captured? They had to have, right? I have no idea what's going on, I'll be completely honest. So far, these seem like completely unrelated events. Giant army somewhere in the uh, mountain 
snow-covered forests of the USSR. Uh, two people captured. Man diving. Looking at sharks underwater. Wearing the, the classic splinter cell headgear. <laughs> Girl's boat being rocked by a much larger boat. Wait, are we like a special operative or something? They came and grabbed us? Do I have a choice? Lambert needs to talk to you. You know I hate that. Sam? What's the situation, Lambert? We've lost contact with Agents Madison and Blowski. Mm -hmm. We'll bring them back. And my daughter? We'll take care of her. Okay, so where's Sam? I'm assuming Sam Fisher. We must be like the best of the best or some shit. Gotta rescue the other two. Are these flashbacks? We having some PTSD now? I'm not sure he's fit to go back, man. If that's true. Dude looks like he's suffering. Were there other games in the series before this one? Because it's feeling a lot like a sequel. I'm not going to lie, man. Like, with those flashbacks and things, I'm a, you would think that would be, like, scenes from the previous game in the series or, or something along those lines, you know? But, all right, how about we get into this actual game now, see what it's all about. Name is Sam. That's fine. Difficulty normal. Now we have some settings. Inventory is up and down thermal visions right night visions left we move and have a camera uh we can't shoot or anything <laughs> hmm setting screen oh okay yeah no that's fine position should be fine too sound uh for fuck's sakes turn it up at least the voices Because holy hell, dude. Normal vibration? Invert vibration? Oh. Okay, so that must just be like inverted camera with vibe. I thought it was meaning like it inverted the fucking motors for the <laughs> for the for the vibration or something like that. I'm like, why why do you need a setting for that of all things, man? But no, just instead of having like a uh an option for to turn the uh, the vibration on and off, and an option for toggling invert or not. They just have it all in one go. It's weird. This is weird. This had to have been an early PS2 game. Again, oddly enough, one of the few games I don't have a box for, so I don't know a whole lot about it. Like when it came out or anything like that. I could probably look that up pretty pretty quickly, though. Tom Clancy Splinter Cell. Oh, God. There's so many Splinter Cell games. Holy shit, dude. Um, no, not the not for reason. Okay. Narrow it down by console, please, to the PlayStation 2. That's a little bit better. Still a lot of them, though. Okay, Splinter Cell, just the regular copy. Only worth five bucks. Came out in 2003. So yeah, relatively early in the PS2's lifespan. CIA Training Farm, Camp Peary, Virginia. October 7th, 2004. 0600 hours. Prove that you are the right man for the job. As Agent Sam Fisher, you have been recruited to spearhead the operational arm of the National Security Agency's third echelon initiative. Before being sent into the field on a mission to recover agents Madison and Brustein? Bostein? I don't know what that says. You must demonstrate that you possess the skills to undertake dangerous and covert solo missions. Okay. <laughs> no promises, dude. Okay, look around with the right stick. Can do that. Can you hear me clearly? 
Hi there. I can hear you. You're a little now quiet, but I can hear you. Speaker is working correctly. Now, the technicians here want to calibrate your equipment. Can you turn to the red emergency light on the wall to your left? Wall to the left. Okay. Great. Now the one on your right. Got it. Okay. Same thing for pitch. Look for another light up in the rafters on the ceiling. Rafters in the ceiling. Rafters on the floor. Or not rafters on the floor. Excellent. Now you get the point. Light on the floor. Whatever. Front. Close enough. All right, Fisher. We'll get through this as quickly as possible. We'll start simple. Climb up onto that ledge. Over that pool. Okay. Press triangle at the base of a ledge to grab onto it. Uh, okay, so we must not be able to jump that high. Maybe, maybe from like over here and then we shimmy. Switch object. To repeat pop-up training tips, press X button with one of these objects. Press triangle button at the base of a ledge to grab onto it. Okay. Now up to go up. Yep. Makes sense. We'll let you do Jump your down. Thing here. You're looking at your basic assault course. I'll chime back in once you've passed it. <laughs> what makes you think I'm going to pass it, my guy? Use the ladder, simply move on to it. I can do that. Kind of thought we would climb the ladder a little bit quicker in this, not going to lie. Zip line, sand order, and press triangle. Uh, <laughs> excuse me, Sam. <laughs> I love the animations, man. I was just like uh, teleporting into position for all these things and whatnot. It's kind of stiff. Mm, real relic of the time. I love it. I'm not even like joking. It really is. It's kind of, <laughs> it's a little bit nostalgic, I guess. Climbing on a vertical pipe or beam is like using a ladder. Okay. Slightly unnatural way we contort. To crouch, press circle. Sam will be slower when crouched. That makes sense. When between narrow walls, it may be possible for Sam to do a split jump. To split jump, stand next to wall. Stand next to wall. Not a wall. Stand next to wall and press triangle button. When at the top of the jump, press triangle a second time and hold triangle. What? Do I need to stand closer to the wall? Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. So you got to be like right up against one of the walls to do the, the split jump. Interesting. Okay. Can we just like do that forever? I'm assuming not. This isn't Mario after all. Can't just like wall jump our way up a mountain. To hand over hand under a pipe or beam, press triangle to jump and grab. To hand under hand. Is that the technical name for this sort of thing? To decrease visibility and pass over obstacles while on a pipe, press circle to bring legs up. Can we like bring the camera back a little bit? <laughs> I didn't like how the camera was, is, it still is. Okay, just like right on his face, dude, it's weird. monkey our way down nice nice love it and drop i'm assuming triangle yes climbing a fence or lattice is the same as climbing a ladder or pipe surprise surprise man if you can climb it you can climb it go down no go go down no go down <laughs> fucking weird ass controls man but to put sam's back up to a wall face the wall and press l3 Sam can peek when he reaches a corner. Okay. So, cover fire. I'm assuming once we get a gun. And then to leave, we press R3 again. Or L3, I mean. Oh. R3 is how we do the, the, little, the little thingy thing. On our head. Do we have access to any of the... Like night vision and stuff yet? We do. I don't know why we would want it right now, but we can. There we go. That's a little bit faster. Good job, Fisher. 
As soon as you can find a way over the gate, we'll move on to covert ops training. Possible for him to jump off a nearby surface. So the same as doing the split jump, but uh, instead of like staying holding on to it, we just kind of grab a ledge or something. Makes sense. Hey, Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. You got to build that uh, bit boss bar back up there, man. You're all the way down to 65 HP. Save the game. Sure, why not? Might as well, I guess. I'm just hoping we have time to get into the actual game at some point here, not just, you know, training mission. I'm glad to learn how to play the game, but I also want to actually play the game. I mean, maybe the covert ops training will have other operatives that we're going against. You only got 25 bits left? Oh, man. Sounds like it's about time for you to get more of them. Wait a second. Did Kid Cudi just release a new album? Oh, no. Wait. Kid Cudi drops Enter Galactic, both a new animated Netflix program as well as the title of his 10th studio album. Dope, dude. I'm going to have to give that a listen later. Big fan of Kid Cudi, actually. Do make some good music. You're moving on into covert ops. The objective is to sneak through the area without, sneak through without being detected. You've got okay. bodies in there. Some of the top CIA instructors have kindly volunteered to be your victims. Okay. Icon above the stealth meter on the right indicates that you have new information in your op set. The objective bar at the bottom of your screen keeps you informed of your current objective. Press select to open op set. Okay. Open the door. That's it. <laughs> All right, man. To open a door, stand in front of it and press X. Can also peek through doors by pulling left on the left analog stick while holding X. So hold X and then. Okay. That's weird. The What's the bar? Right above, like, the little... In the bottom right-hand corner, there's the little, like, square, and then there's a little bar that goes back and forth on another bar. Equip your lock picks, press and hold a square, and use the left analog stick to select it from your inventory. With the picks equipped, stand in front of the door and press R1. Slowly rotate the left analog stick around the outer edge of its range until you see and hear the first pin begin to move. This means the left analog stick is in the correct quadrant. Keeping the left analog stick in the correct quadrant, wiggle the left analog stick very gently to release one of the pins in the lock. Repeat until all pins are pressed. Okay. Okay, so that's that's what we have equipped. That's what the square is. Pick the lock. So slowly rotate this around. Wait. Okay. I, I'll be honest. I don't really understand what just happened, but I mean, wait, I opened that stealthily. How do we crouch again? I'm assuming we'll be more quiet when we crouch. This next door is keypad locked. The man guarding the door has the code to open it, but he's been instructed not to cooperate. Convince him otherwise. Approach your opponent quietly from behind and press X to grab. If the character has any useful information, the interrogate interaction will appear. Select this interrogation to force the character to talk. After you get the information you need, press R1 to knock out and release. Okay. Can we walk, like, slowly? We can. I'm assuming, like, sound and whatnot's going to be a thing. Grab character. Interrogate. Hi there. Hi. You're not going easy on me, are you? Not so tight. That hurts. Sorry about that. What's the door code? Two eight four six nine. It was a pleasure working eight, four, with you. Eight four six nine. Likewise. Now, how do we let go? The knockout R one. Okay. I got it. Hopefully, he does not. Two. Oh, good. It tells us four six nine. Right. Cool. Cool. Now, can I open the door stealthily, please? That's what I was trying to do last time. 
Okay, I'm assuming, again, that crouching... Yeah, because, like, that bar you see is, uh... This next door is I don't know. Before, it was to the right, so maybe that's, like, which way we're facing. To hack. Fortunately, it's just a matter of getting the right eyes to the scanner. Usually an officer. The gentleman ahead is registered for the scanner. Convince him to open the door for you. Force opponents to cooperate, sneak up from behind and grab them as before. While still holding a point inch, drag them to the object that you want them to use and press X to force them to use it. Okay. So basically interrogate, but take them up to the thing. Now, no, okay, so that is not the direction we're facing. Is it the direction the camera's facing? What is that bar? I heard you. You didn't hear shit. <laughs> okay, so they can hear us, though. So we do have to be we do have to be stealthy. Grab. I'm assuming this is the retinal scanner. Yes. Use. Okay. Own kernel grant access. Now, I'm assuming it's the same R1 to knock out and let go? Yes. Stealth open door. I don't see anyone, so I'm assuming we're okay. Let's work on stealth. Your gun should always be a last resort. Visibility is your best weapon. You've got a network of photocells on your outfit connected to a visibility meter on your offset. If the meter's at four, you lit up like a Dutch brothel. Zero, you're a ghost's shadow. Stealth meter in the bottom right hand in corner indicates how well lit you are. Okay, so that's what that is. When the tab is at the right side of the meter, you are well lit. When the tab is at the left side of the meter, you're practically invisible. Need to shoot the lights to get past this camera. Press R2 to draw your weapon, R1 to shoot. I like that mechanic. That's nice. Checkpoint, please wait. I'm waiting. Okay, so R2 to draw. And then... Okay, we aim with right stick. Okay, so we move very slowly, but... We can move while we have the gun out. Equip your night vision goggles. Simply press left. So now the camera can't see us, right? Can I shoot out the camera? No. No. Uh, how do we reload? Can we reload? Mm, it doesn't seem like it. Stealth, open door. Is it dark in there? A bit. Not really, though. Oh, you can shoot some of them. Okay. Fair enough. Some cameras are not protected with armored casings. Shooting these cameras will destroy them, allowing you to pass. To make yourself harder to see, you can go back to the wall. Press R2 button to equip your sidearm. When peeking, you can shoot around the corner without exposing yourself. Got it. How do we go up against the wall again? I think it was like R3, L3 or something like that. L L3, okay. Shoot the camera. Okay, I can't, I can't walk past this thing on the wall, apparently. Can we actually shoot around this wall right now? We can. Doesn't look like we should be able to, but whatever, I guess. Put the gun away. Looks clear enough to me. Uh, okay, there's a camera over there. Does it have an armored casing? How do I know? I mean, I guess I could just try to shoot it and see if that works. It doesn't appear to be working, I mean. So I'm assuming that doesn't work. So we're going to have to sneak past it. I'm surprised it didn't give us like a pop-up, honestly. Which way is it looking? We're in complete darkness right now. Oh, okay. Okay, I mean, that's what I was going to do. Time your movements and keep to the shadows to avoid being seen by the camera. 
Couldn't I also just, like, hide behind this box? I mean, I know we're not technically in shadow right now, but it can't see me either, right? Does this count as a shadow? I guess so. There's a guy. Can I shoot through the door? No. Knock out the guard in the corridor and hide his body before the patrolling guard finds it. Okay. Knock out an enemy with hand-to-hand -hand attack. Get close to them and press R1. Stand over the fallen enemy and select the pickup body interaction by pressing X. Carry the opponent to somewhere dark and out of the way, then press X again to drop. It's weird how it has like these sub menus, you know? We heard oh you, shit. Sam. No, you didn't. You didn't hear shit. Shut up. <laughs> I forgot to press the button gently, my bad. Pick up the body. Okay, drop him somewhere dark. I'm assuming this little cubby hole. It's okay, pretty officer, dark over here. Let's bring in another guard to evaluate your work. And before this guard has like his own night vision goggles. Can I knock him out too, or would that <laughs> would that be bad? I'm assuming that'd be bad since it says remain hidden from the guard. Now can I knock him out? Good work, Sam. Thanks, Remember man. Discretion is critical to our operations. Covering up the evidence of your passing through will go a long way towards proving our usefulness in the field. Okay. No secrets? No. Lame. Stealth. Uh, it's kind of dark in here. Got it. Oh, hi. Grab character. What do you got? Silence. What's up, my guy? Uh, just knock out, I guess. I don't see anything to do here. Switch object. Oh, that's that's a light switch. Is there anything we can like pick up? Wait, what's our objective? Goals. Remain undetected while the guard completes the patrol. Knock out and hide your opponent's body from the guard. Pass by the... I mean, we did all that. Now what? I thought maybe we had to, like, find something in here. Oh, God. There's a radio check going on. Uh, Hardest game ever? Is it really? Is it that bad? Never played it before now, so I have no idea. I don't know what the hell is going on right now either, though, so... We'll just, like, drop you over here, maybe? Do I go back out here? Is there another door somewhere that I missed? Oh, there's a door right here I can go through now. Okay, that works. Which object? What am I? What am I switching? Mm -hmm. Open the door. The next hallway is the same idea, but for sound. I'll be monitoring a few hidden mics. To move quietly, try to keep to softer or more solid textures like carpet or concrete, and avoid hollow or loose surfaces like wood or gravel. Also, remember that the slower you move, the quieter you are. To crouch, press circle. You will be much slower and quieter. That makes sense. I'm assuming there's a way to, like, jump down quietly. Not quite That's not how you do it. <laughs> Jumping is not the way to go, it turns out. I was, 
I was hoping, I think it's Metal Gear Solid 3 when you press triangle, you like uh, drop down on a ledge or whatever. So I was trying to do like that. Okay, that worked actually, surprisingly. Uh, can I go up though? Okay, also worked. Okay, so when we have a small ledge to go up, we can use triangle to go up it. Like we do a little jump, but then we land silently on the ledge. GG. Have you started yet? Yes, sir. Holy Christmas, you're at the end. Holy Phenomenal Christmas. It's gonna be my new catchphrase. We do it? We did it! Yay! <laughs> that wasn't too bad. Can we do like an actual mission now though? Get me in the field, boss. Congratulations, Fisher. You have demonstrated that you are the right man to spearhead the NSA's third echelon initiative. The onus will be on you to prove the worth of deploying solo covert operatives by gathering intelligence in the field and taking deliberate action based on that intelligence. Welcome to the NSA. Thanks, man. Do you want to save the game? Yes, always, always save the game. So I can delete it in a little bit. <laughs> Overrating data, do not remove memory card. I'll do what I damn well please, game. I mean, I'm not going to, but if I wanted to, I would, and you couldn't stop me. Hello, Colonel. Good to see you again. I trust NSA orientation is going well? Well enough. Everybody's been real coy about what exactly I'm allowed to know. It's the nature of the agency. We don't let any one person know everything, which means we've all got to work together. Even though I'll be out there alone. You'll be transmitting to us in more ways than you can imagine, and we'll be online through your earpiece and OPSEC. You already met with Agent Wilkes. Junior Wilkes is a longtime NSA employee. He'll be your rings, wheels, and weapons. He coordinates transportation and equipment. Welcome to the NSA. The volume leveling in this game is kind of trash. The volume level in general is kind of trash, but also went from being a reasonable level to super quiet there for no reason at all. <laughs> like, Don't like that. Nice. You must be Sam Fisher. I'm Anna Grin's daughter. Pleased to meet you. Third echelon lead programmer. You've done your homework. So is this like Metal Gears or, or Snake's uh more explosive trigger happy brother or something as you know the cia lost contact with two agents william blaustein and alice madison madison was a mole inside georgia president Cobain nikolaitze's cabinet nikolaitze was a wealthy industrialist before he transitioned to politics once he took over in georgia he opened up the country to the west fostering an economic climate that promoted technology development are we working with the cia's cooperation Blaustein is outfitted with subdermals just like yours. That'll be your best lead to find him. You didn't answer my question. We'll tell you what you need to know. You're not out there alone, Fisher. Through me, you're attached to a dozen of the best NSA minds we have. There are political complexities with Georgia you'd need a week to understand. I've just about memorized the speech language. Well, start believing it. This is Third Echelon's maiden voyage, and we need it to go smooth as butter. You're about to touch down in Georgia. Get ready. So quiet. <laughs> Locate CIA agent, agents Blaustein and Madison. Agent Allison Madison worked covertly in the Georgian political arena for two years, securing a role in President Nick. 
Nicoladze's <laughs> cabinet after his coup d'etat. Special Agent Robert Blaustein was also in Georgia. They both vanished on October 11th. Man, I didn't realize Georgia was so rough, man. Had to stay away from that part of the country. <laughs> Trisha, the sun's down. Time to go to work. Finding Agent Blaustein's our first priority. We're to locate him through a local NSA contact. I'm on my way. And stay off the streets. There's a heavy cop presence in this town. We don't have Washington's backing if this turns into an incident. Details on your offset. Okay, find the dude. Don't get caught. Killing civilians will result in mission failure. Fair. Touching the street. Just touching the street results in mission failure. Interesting. Okay. I hope they make it, like, obvious what's street and what's not. Okay, it's pretty dark right now, so I'm assuming... We're good. Is that a civilian, or is that... Our contact. Who are you? Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't grab the ledge. I was trying to grab the ledge. I didn't grab it. Can I not go up that way? Okay, well, the civilian's gone. Excuse me, game? I, can I not go up here? Okay, apparently I can't go up there. So where... Where can I go then? Can I open this door? No. Well, this is already going swimmingly, man. I have no idea what to do. Uh... Okay. Get, get off the wall, please. What gear do we have? We have a lockpick, a gun, this thing. I don't know what the hell it is. Optic cable. Okay. I, that looks like I should be grabbing the ledge there, man. Can I, like, jump from... Oh, good. I'm in a bush. I know I need to meet the contact, but where? How? As far as I can tell, I can't even go anywhere right now. I'm not missing anything, right? Oh, there's a ladder. Climb the ladder. There we go. God, I'm fucking blind. Can we climb the lattice, too? I remember them saying something about us being able to climb lattice, but not not that lattice, I guess. Um, okay, there's a pole. It doesn't go down far enough for us to really do anything with. Uh, there's that scared dude. Is there another, like, obvious hidden ladder somewhere I'm missing? Oh, God. Okay. We're fine. Everything is fine. I don't see any doors or anything. I'm hoping, like... I don't really know what I'm hoping for, honestly. Oh, God. Okay. Well, <laughs> I think we're almost dead now, so that's good. I must be missing something. Can we... Can we just climb... Up here? Maybe the other way around? No. Wait, 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 wait. Open trap? Oh, there's a trap fucking door right in front of me, dude. There we go. Turns out I'm just blind as a bat, man. Maybe turn on the night vision goggles now. Uh, 
Okay, we're in a hole. Okay, there's a rappel line. Don't I know what me. to do here, man. Is inside there. Why would I tell you what you already know? You're gonna have to hurry. Grim's daughter's comparing a Dark Star drone sonar to the warehouse blueprints. She'll be guiding you through. Okay, dude's doing bad thing. We need to hurry to stop him from doing bad thing or something. I'm completely lost, not gonna lie. Uh. Okay, so we can use the optic cable now. Does that let us see, like, through the door better? It does. It's also really weird looking because it has, like, a, a not a fisheye lens, but, like, that style of lens, I guess. Uh, it's also on fire. Can I use night vision in here? I can't. I mean, it looks empty, so just go through. Next door. What if I just open it stealth? Can I just peek through there? I can. I think we're good. Okay. Glad I ran through there when I did, man. That could have went poorly. We're also, like, probably one hit from death, so I don't know how well this is going to go. Uh, do we have to jump over this? Ugh. Yep. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Um, yeah, mission failed because we're dead. That makes sense. I was trying to, like, wall jump there or something to, to make that gap. Fisher, the sun's Obviously, I was doing that work. wrong, though. Finding Agent Blaustein's our first priority. To locate him okay. to a local NSA Go up contact. here. At least I'm now we know where we're going. And stay off the streets. There's a heavy cop presence in this town. If you don't have Washington's backing, this uh, turns X. into an incident. Details on your offset. Okay, we don't need to be stealthy through any of this section. There was nothing really to hide from here, just... Just gotta make it through. Climb the... Wasn't there a pole or something around here? Yeah. Repel down the line. Don't tell me. Gergen and Zay is inside there. Why would I tell you what you already know? You're gonna have to hurry. Grim's daughter's comparing a Dark Star drone sonar to the warehouse blueprints. She'll be guiding you through. Open door. Open door. Open door. And then don't get crushed. Now, how do we make it across here? Or is that not the way we're going? That has to be the way we're going, unless we're suddenly fireproof. No, no hints on this section, my guy. Oh, there's a thing above us. Duh. I can't believe I didn't check that last time. After just going through that training Jesus, and shit, dude. Close. Take a left just ahead and cut through the room. You'll find a stairwell on the opposite floor. Take it to the top floor. Okay. I'm probably being a bit paranoid using this optic cable so much, but like, last thing I want to do is walk in on the big bad. Is there any like secret mission intel we should be looking for or anything while we're running around here? So far, so good. And then she said something about a stairwell. Guess we're going up. Okay, is he alone in this room? I don't see anyone in the room, so that's a good sign. Uh, are we sure he's in here? I'm not as positive as you are. What was her name? Griselda? Oh god, am I taking damage? There's too I much am. Smoke. Shoot out the skylight. Too much smoke shoot out the skylight? Okay. 
Oh, to let the smoke out. That's that's cool. I'm assuming stay low. Smoke rises and all that jazz. Optic cable. It's just a hallway. Okay. That's a very small hallway. It looked a lot larger a moment ago. Can I not? Is the door locked? Do I need to lock pick? No. What? Meet the contact. Do I need to like smack the door open? I'm I'm confused. Uh okay. That must not have been the right way to go. But there's nowhere else to go. Unless... Can I get over to there somehow? I don't think so. That does not look safe. Plus, they had the whole thing with, like, shooting out the skylight over here and everything. This has got to be the right way, right? Am I missing something? Doesn't appear so. Okay, open door. Door. There's another door. Meet the con- I know that we need to meet the contact game, but, like... But I can't open the door. I can't... Okay, um... Lockpick. R1, L1, L2. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm obviously stupid. I must be doing something wrong here. Hold on. What else can we do? There's no one and nothing in this room. This room's empty. Over here, we have fire. That kind of hurts my eyes. So the only other possible thing is that other door right there. Oh, God. Yep, we're dead. Uh, what? <laughs> I, I can't tell if the game broke, if I'm stupid. I don't know. There was an obvious door, but we couldn't do anything with it. There, we must have been missing something, man. We'll try one more time. We got we got enough time to try one more time. At least now we know that we don't need to be stealthy like at all. So it'll be a little bit quicker. We walk into the room. We can hear the contact, but not see him. Can you... Why aren't you climbing the thing now? Oh, there we go. We weren't, like, straight enough onto it or whatever. We weren't straight enough to climb that pipe. Don't tell me. Gergen and Zay is inside there. Why would I tell you what you already know? You're gonna have to hurry. Grim's daughter's comparing a Dark Star drone sonar to the warehouse blueprints. Be you're talking about that like I have any idea what you're saying, man. I mean, I know what a drone is. I know what sonar is. But a Dark Star drone sonar? Nope. You done lost me, man. Oh, shit. Don't fall down in there. That was my bad. I was rushing. I didn't jump. Uh, wait, cancel. No, don't go to main menu. Uh, okay, we're gonna do it one more time. Um, that was that was totally on me. That was my fault. I have no excuse there. Just <laughs> pay attention to what the hell you're doing, Fisher, maybe. The sun's down. Time to go to work. Finding Agent Blaustein is our first priority. To locate him through a local NSA contact. I'm on my At way. least I know now that he said his name like 16 times, I wasn't completely butchering Blaustein. 
this turns into an incident. I don't think. Was I saying Blaustein? I might have been saying Blaustein. I think I was saying Blaustein. I don't know. I'm sure it's fine. Okay, get right on this pipe. Gotta be, gotta be super straight to climb this pipe. Jump on the rope, slide down. Every time we slide across this thing, I'm tempted to press triangle again and see if we can like drop down halfway across. But I can't see how that would possibly end well for me, so I'm uh, I'm resisting the urge <laughs> to do so. Oh, we almost got caught in all that shit falling. That would have been good. Okay, don't run across. Small steps, jump. There we go. It's weird how like sometimes things get a little blurry in the game. Jesus, that was close. Take a left just ahead, I feel like, the and find then like it snaps the back corner. to being Take it to the top nice floor. and clear. And make your way around. Staircase, top floor. Got it. The contact is in this room. Let's hope to God. Contact in room. Let's hope he's alive. Okay, is he in here somewhere and I'm just blind as fuck? He's right fucking there. Holy shit. Okay. That's why we couldn't move forward. I'm in this city. I'm gonna get you out of here. Don't bother. I'm a good as dead. You're looking for Blauston and Madison. Yeah. Madison was deep into Nikolaz's cabinet. She was onto something big. Blauston must have figured it out. How do I find her? Blauston's black box, tracking the relay for his subdermals. It's stashed in his safe house just east of Moravi Square. Lambert, do we have resources to evac this? Find the black box. Okay. Before we attempt to do that, sound effects are too high. Everything, everything's too high. And turn off surround. I don't know if that's actually doing anything or not. Keep the voice volume all, all the way up, though, because holy shit, dude, is it quiet. I said don't bother. Whatever Madison found, it's big. She kept saying proof would mean war. I think Nicolades wanted... Did he just die? He just You're died. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Leave the corpse for the fire. He has to explain to his family. You've got a safe exit on the west side of the room. Take it. You know, I don't have a compass, so telling me there's a safe exit on the west side doesn't actually do all that much for me, lady. Okay, bye-bye glass. Save the game, yes. Was that really the end of the mission? I was at the end of the mission. <laughs> or at least to a save point. I'm... I'm mad. <laughs> then my dumbass jumped into a fire pit. Because I couldn't see the damn guy. I'm blind. I can't help it, man. <laughs> like, uh, I know she said he was in the next room, but I was like, oh, maybe he ran because of the fire or something. I don't fucking know. Oh, my God. So I wonder, though, is the whole game... No, I, it can't be. I was going to say, maybe the whole game's like that, but no, I think it's going to be more like covert ops, you know, like... Because there was no guards or anything. Noodle, thank you so much for another five bits, love. Uh, that time around, right? Like, there was that one civilian, but scaring him didn't actually do anything. So... That was pretty tight. Still breathing? Doing my best. Good. Blaustein's black box is your next objective running standard agency tradecraft. You'll find the box behind a fake bookshelf or wall panel. Fake bookshelf or wall panel, okay. Is there any point in being stealthy now, I wonder? We are, like, basically... Out. God, I almost coughed. Oh. <coughs> basically out of time now. So we're probably going to have to call it here, but I did want to see what we were getting into. Do we just jump down? Is this the door we came out of? Yeah, that's the door we came out of. I'm assuming that's the street, so touching that's probably a no-no. 
Is that a pipe we can grab? That's a pipe we can grab, okay. Always look for a nice strong pipe to grab, man. Yeah, We're on the street. This mission is too sensitive to have you running around on the street. I couldn't crawl over any farther. You stopped me from moving, game. <laughs> Why didn't we like grab the ledge or something? I'm sure I'm just blind and miss something again. But it doesn't matter. I think that's all we got time for tonight, guys. Thank you for coming and hanging out with me for a little bit while I try these two games. 007 was meh, meh. Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell? Maybe. Like, I would possibly give it more of a chance, but I don't, I don't know. It's not going to be at the top of my list just because I have so many other games to play. But, like, I don't actually think it's terrible. I think I'm just terrible. <laughs> but that's besides the point. Thanks again, guys, for coming and hanging out with me for a bit. Tomorrow we'll be playing either RimWorld or Civ 6. I need to talk to OptiJack and see... Uh, if he is down to do that tomorrow. Because we're going to start switching every other week between the two games. Uh, we were going to start last week actually. But because of my COVID I wasn't up for playing. Um, so this Friday tomorrow we will be playing one or the other. Haven't figured out which one yet. But I'll let you know whenever the stream starts I guess. Maybe before. I don't know. Anyways guys I hope to see you there. Have a good night. And as always be kind to each other. Bye bye y'all. Limit. <laughs> oh. oh boy. Something I do want to do at some point.